What is going on everyone? Uh, this is Rossi and welcome to a brand new video here today. We're going to be looking at some of the weirdest, craziest, maddest transfers of the recent times. I'm talking last few weeks, last month or whatever. Um, and this um, summer transfer, whatever you want to call it. This is going to be interesting. If you guys want to see more of these sort of videos, more transfer ones, make sure you drop a thumbs up down below. Drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe, all that good shit. If you guys want me to make the highest possible transfer team so far, that is obviously looking at like 88 rated and stuff like that. Drop a like down below. If we get 3,000 likes, I'll bring you guys the highest rate of transfer team you're going to see. But let's get into the maddest. We've got Bogdan that was signed by Liverpool like a little while ago now. It was actually like, I don't know, a few weeks ago or whatever. Bogdan surprised a lot of people on social media. Okay, I was on social media and it surprised a lot of people. This guy obviously signed um, and he's going to be behind probably mini lane and stuff like that. But he's made zero appearances for Liverpool so far. He hasn't played in any of their... Um, Preseason games, I don't think. He actually joined on a free transfer, so I'm not sure if it's a good little pickup by Liverpool. Uh, it's good for him, for sure, because he's gone from um, a free transfer from Bolton to uh, Liverpool, which is pretty sick. Emenike, okay, it's gone, okay. He's going to be out of FIFA next year, probably. He's gone to Al Ain, I think that's how you pronounce it, on loan from Fenerbahce. When he was at Fenerbahce, obviously, he was in the game. Now he's left there. He could have been up top with Van Persie in that league. You know, he could have been up there with Van Persie, but I'm afraid he's not there anymore. Made 55 appearances and uh, 16 goals for Nabarche. He could go back, obviously, after his loan spell. But he's not going to be in FIFA 16. This has surprised me because, obviously, Fenerbahce is, uh, quite, is, you know, a really, really big club in Europe and stuff like that. So, um, we've got some good players like Van Persie. Maybe Van Persie is the reason he's gone out alone. I don't know. Who knows? This one shocked me. I actually found out about this, like, literally the other day. Okay, Tim Hit Cahill has gone to Shanghai Shenhu. I think it's how you pronounce it. I probably fucking butchered that name. But he's gone from New York Red Bulls to China, the Chinese League. Don't know why he's done that because he was a big, big deal in MLS. You know, it was a really big deal. Um, I'm guessing it might be money or something like that. But yeah, a big player in MLS. Um, you know, really well known player. And he's gone to the Chinese League, which has surprised me. I only found out about this the other day. And uh, looks like he won't be in FIFA 16 unless they bring that league in. Could we see that league? Who knows? Okay, so this is an interesting one. Obviously, I just talked about it a minute ago, but. Uh, uh, Van Persie's gone to Fenerbahce, and this may not be uh, like a big surprise to some of you, but um, apparently, from what I was reading, he had the choice of Juventus and Fenerbahce, okay? So Juventus, bearing in mind, are the, the Champions League finalists the last year, which is pretty awesome, and then there's Fenerbahce, well, still a very, very big club, just... You know, um, Juventus achieved so much last year, you know, got really high, and um, apparently he picked uh, Venabarche over Juventus, which is a bit of a shock for me personally. I think that was surprising. I thought he would go to Juventus, but um, he went to Venabarche, only like £4 million, but you know, not long yet left in his contract, then he's getting older. A little bit of surprise for me. What do you guys reckon in the comments? Okay, this is like not really a surprise one, this is more of a mad one, okay? Sterling went from Liverpool, obviously he, he you know, didn't go on the preseason tour, he called up for training saying he was ill and shit, he just did everything he could not to play for Liverpool, and um, City signed him for £49 million, pounds, okay, and make, that makes him the most expensive footballer of his age, okay, like 19 years of age, most expensive 19 year old ever, which is obviously one of the maddest things in football, that's why he's in the team, that transfer and that reason why, like I say, he is in the team. Okay, Paulinho, okay, is a surprise for me, he's gone to the Chinese League, he's made two appearances from, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, but basically Scolari is the manager of the team he's gone to, apparently, um, so maybe that plays a big reason why he's gone there. I actually really, really rated Paulinho. I thought he was a really good footballer. And at 26 years of age, he can still do it at the highest level, you know, um, just because he didn't get chances at Tottenham. I'm sure there was a few other English clubs or something that were in for him. And uh, he could have still played in Europe and stuff like that, potentially. So it's a big shame to see him go out of China because I really, like, I actually did enjoy watching him play. He could not be in FIFA 16 as well next year. And look at his stats as well. Very good stats. Not a single stat is below 73 rated. So that's pretty awesome. It's a shame we might not see him next year. And it's a shame we might not see him um, in real life, like, you know, playing in the Premier League and stuff. But, you know, that was one of the surprises, one of the things. Stuart Downing has, has, has been a surprise, okay? He's been a surprise. He's gone from West... West Ham, obviously, where he did play quite well. You know, he got back into the, didn't he get back into England team or something like that um, with um, them. So he's come, he's gone from West Ham to Middlesbrough. Okay, so he's gone down the league to Middlesbrough, which I don't really know why, but maybe we do know why. That was where he started off his career. He started off there um, in, in his youth career, 2001, and before that, and then he played eight years for the main team, 2001 to 2009, making 181 appearances. So he's gone back to his like boyhood team, if you like, which is. Pretty awesome, but it's definitely a surprise because, you know, West Ham, what are they in Europa next year? He could have played in Europe and stuff, so he's gone down a league. So it's not, you know, do you know what I mean? It's, it's 
quite a weird one to be honest, but he's gone back to his boyhood team, so fair play to him. This is, you, okay, this is why this is a surprise, okay? So a couple of weeks ago, I made a, tr a transfer rumour video talking about how four Premier League clubs are in for him, okay, according to his agent. His agent actually came out and said, you know, Chelsea, Liverpool, Arsenal, uh, Man United, I think, as well, Man City. Like, were, every top English club was in for him. And, and then, bam, out of nowhere, he went to Barcelona, and it shocked a lot of social media. A lot of social media didn't expect it, um, but he has gone to them from Atletico Madrid, obviously, that's another big club in the same, same league, so it could be a bit controversial, but everyone thought he was going to Europe, no, going to England, sorry, one of the big teams there, but he shocked us all and he's gone to Barcelona. Okay, this is controversial, ladies and gentlemen, drop a like down below for this bad boy, not this bad boy, but this bad boy video, because we are dropping controversial bombs here. He come out literally a few days ago and committed. He was saying, I'm staying at Aston Villa. I can't wait to, um, you know, what is it? What's the word? Captain of next season. I can't wait to play next season. Then bam, a few days later, signed for Man City. All in one day. At, super, super controversial. Um, and he, like, there's a picture going around on Twitter of him saying, I'm loyal and all that. A video going, I'm loyal. And uh, yeah, like I say, he's gone to Manchester City. So very controversial. Very, very, very controversial. He's gone to Man City though, so fair play to him. That's top four Champions League next year, but he's, he's left a bit of a trail behind him. Another shock, okay, another shock. So obviously he played for the shit das, played for Chelsea previously. Um, he's won a lot of things, never mind. He's, he's done quite well. He's not had a bad career, to be fair to him. He made 33 appearances for Chelsea, scoring seven goals, seven important goals as well. He won the league and stuff with them. Um, I think he did win, the, yeah, he, I'm sure he did. So he's now gone to Sh Shanghai, Shenua. I think it's the same team that, um, was it Cahill went to? Um, I think mean, it is the same team. So yeah, they've also got a bit of money and splashing it around, buying some cool players and stuff. Made two appearances, one goal for them. Now, he's probably not going to be in FIFA 16 as well, and it's the maddest. I didn't even know about this transfer. I think a lot of people don't even know about this one. He's not going to be in FIFA 16, probably, unless they bring the league in. He's gone from um, he's gone from the Turkish league to the Chinese league. Bit of a surprise for me. Last but not least, Carlos Tevez. Now, this guy, obviously, uh, me, no, what's it, um, what was he? Champions League finalist last year. Um, World Cup finalist as well, previously. He's gone back to his boyhood team of Boca Juniors, where he started off, with, well, not even start off there, but one of his youth career teams, and he started off his senior career there, which is obviously pretty awesome. He's gone back there after being at some big clubs, United City, Juventus, you know, um, and, that, and fair play to him, he's gone back to his boy. that's obviously what makes him happy and stuff. But it's just a really, really big shock because he can still do it on the big stage and stuff. He is 31 years of age, but he's got a good couple of years left in him on the on the top level. He has gone back to Argentina though, but here is the team for you guys. If you have enjoyed this video, please do drop a like down below. Subscribe to me for more FIFA videos and real life football videos coming shortly. Guys, it has been a pleasure as always. Peace.